Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. As you guys know, we're ending our Memorial Day weekend and of course I'm always late, but since I haven't went to bed yet, it's officially still my Memorial Day. So I would like to change my beautiful Kayla here. Um, I had purchased an outfit for my new baby to come and unfortunately guys, she still has yet to make it. Um, and I did want to discuss a little bit about this in this video. Uh, it has been, <laughs> it's definitely been a wait. It's not so much as the time. It's just so frustrating because USPS is not updating at all. Um, I've been expecting this baby girl for quite a while now. Um, I think I want to say she sent the package out the second. Yes, I believe the second. The only um, update that I saw for the longest was the third. All I saw was it was processing to leave or something like that on the third. Anyways, she was getting more updates on her side in Bulgaria. Basically, she had contacted me on the 10th, said that the package had made it to the U.S. However, on my side, it never, ever said that. It wasn't until the 22nd did I get a an update, finally, and it says it um, processed through New York facility. Now, <laughs> we are now on, what are we at? The 29th officially, because I'm after midnight, guys. And nothing. So, I don't know what the heck is going on with USPS, but it does not take this many days to get processed through customs you know generally even when I ordered babies from Russia or wherever as soon as it hit New York customs or processing center within two to three days tops I received the baby I don't know what's going on I don't know if this package is damaged I don't know if something's wrong with it and they're just not wanting to send it something is wrong I, I just have this gut feeling that something's wrong it is took so long to update as it is and then now that it has processed through New York it says that plainly the 22nd where is my package now I know <laughs> it is a holiday weekend and I have my fingers crossed that this package is going to show up tomorrow but if it does not I'm going to give it to the end of this week and I think that I'm going to have to I don't know. It's getting past the 30 day mark to where I should probably ask for my money back. I don't know. I'm, I'm bringing this to you guys at this point because I feel like something is going on and believe me, I know it's not against the artist by all means, but you know, this isn't the first time that I've had issues with the USPS postal service. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what issues they're having, but they're definitely having issues as far as scanning the packages in or out or whatever they're doing. But I definitely think that there's something going on. I would love to hear your input or your opinion on what you think. Um, you know, look, I really want this reborn. I, I really do love this reborn. <laughs> she is gorgeous. I'm, I've been excited for her since day one. So I'm, I don't want to give up or chalk it up, but at the same time, am I waiting for nothing? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just want to hear, I just want to hear from you guys, what you guys think, um, what would you do? <laughs> so, but I think what I'm going to do is give it the week. If I don't hear anything from the week, I don't know if I just want to, I mean, believe me, the artist has been wonderful. She even said if she needed to, she would remake the baby. No problem. The only thing is, is these dolls are one of a kind. Yes, you can get close, but you're never going to make them the same. And this baby is so unique and precious. And I have been excited for this reborn since, like I said, since I purchased her. So, it, you know, it's it's one of those things that, yes, you may get close, but it's not going to be the reborn that I have fell head over heels for, if you get my drift. So, yeah, I don't know if, you know, again, she's been a sweetheart. Like she said, she would, you know, reborn the doll for me again and what have you. But, you know, I feel like, again, like I just said, 
will it be the same? Should I just get a refund? Should I wait another month? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I need to do a little bit more research as far as how long I can actually wait for PayPal is able to refund me, those kind of things. So yeah, but I definitely want to hear from you. I want your input. Tell me what you think. Um, should I be worried? Should I not? What would you do at this point? <laughs> but to move on, since the new baby isn't here, my precious Kayla is going to wear the outfit that the new baby was going to wear. Um, of course, I planned on her being here by Memorial Day, so this was going to be her outfit. But Kayla has no problem because she is my pretty girl. She loves to model all the clothing. And as you can see, she does a beautiful job of it. And guys, I must say, <laughs> as you guys know, I... I usually film at night, so I have quite a few daylights, but I was thinking, I can, I sat here and counted, I have eight, eight, mind you, daylight bulbs, and with all these daylight bulbs, you still can't see the color of her eyes, it's amazing, guys, and I feel like, before I end this, and I hope I don't forget, I want to show you how many lights I have just around this table, but yet, I feel like it's still not enough. It's crazy. I had watched, it's been a while, I had watched a video that Stephanie Ortiz did. And this is when they had took the reborning station into a spare bedroom. And they were complaining that they never could get the light right. And it wasn't a huge room, it wasn't a small room, but they never could get the light right. And I feel like that is the same issue I'm having. No matter how many lights I have in here, no matter, no matter how I position them, I never have enough light. It's crazy. Um, so it's almost like even if you're in an enclosed room and you have all the lights pointing to what you need it, it's just, you know, it's crazy how sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, enough mumbling. This beautiful girl has been in her Easter dress, as you can see, this beautiful purple uh, satin dress with white polka dots with these beautiful, they almost look like a... Uh, I don't know daisies I'm not sure what they are but they're white flowers and in the center is a button with the same material as the dress and it's that satin purple with white polka dots and then there's a green stem with leaves and I paired it up with this little um, this actually went to a different dress um, because I you know I had her little onesie on here and you could see it so there was like no it was just kind of like a little strap so I wanted to make sure her little her little arms was covered so this I can't remember what dress it went to but it actually is newborn so that's why it's kind of little but it worked out pretty good for the dress I feel and I gotta tell you I really adore this baby girl yeah see as you can see it's newborn just one for you I believe it was a cotton like sweatshirt material dress I think it actually it's like a floral design it went with uh, my tiger lily if I'm not mistaken Okay, pretty girl. And there was a beautiful white satin bow that was tied in the back. That, And if I'm not mistaken, I bought this dress from Katie from My Little World. And as you know, she has exquisite taste, guys. Um, I still have a few things that I have bought from her that I have not yet put on my babies yet. So, And let me tell you, beautiful things to come. Beautiful Oh, I love this baby's girl hair. I am so jealous. Like, I would love to have her hair. Let me tell you. <laughs> it is just scrumptious. I mean, it's like silk. And it, and it doesn't tangle at all. I mean, yes, the curls look not as bold unless I wet it. But there's never, ever any tangles. And it's just like, like I said, it's like silk. I love, love, love her hair. I think if, if I knew exactly what she was rooted with that is what I would suggest every baby always and forever to be rooted with <laughs> anyways so let me get her bloomers off and now these this baby uh, yeah I gotta tell you is one of my favorites how she's reborn very realistic all the right blushing veining modeling in all the right places of course this is all a lot of artificial lighting so I'm not sure what you are seeing 
It's uh, Connie Brook, I believe, is the artist. Uh, forgive me if I said that wrong. Connie, I believe it is Connie Brook, uh, which I believe is I believe is a prototype artist. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to give false um, information, but I, I did think that she was. Um, I got to tell you, though, you know, I got an amazing deal. I mean, she wasn't cheap, but she was not expensive for what, for the beauty that she is, if that makes sense. Let me let you look at her a little more. Look at that. I mean, you're not seeing her true color. She's a little bit more darker complected in real life, I believe. She looks a little washed out, I feel. But she is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Oh, and she has the most beautiful green topaz eyes I've ever seen. She has two little teeth. And a lot of you who, who has followed me has known I've had her for a while. She's been part of my collection for some time. And I guarantee you she's probably going to be my one of my favorite or forever babies as we say it. Yeah. Okay. So there is one thing. And, um... For the artists that watch me, I have a question for you. Now, I know that uh, we can use different things for gloss. And since I am new at Reborning, I'm not sure what does this and what does not. Because I don't have the experience and length of time to know better. So please, this is a question that I really need to know for many reasons, more than one. <laughs> um... First off, um, her paint is not coming off. However, her clear coat on her lips has become sticky. So, like, especially with the pacifiers that I have the felt over, the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the fuzz or whatever, is sticking to the clear coat. And, I mean, it's really sticky. And I've tried to gently wipe off, like, the little fuzzies to keep it under control so she doesn't have, like, little fuzzies hanging from her lips. But it is a concern. Um, my question is, what can I put over it? Or what can I do to keep, to, to stop the stickiness? Because it's driving me crazy. So I know, here's the thing. I know what I'm using as far as when I reborn. And what I have used, it's an actual glue. Uh, let me see if I have it. Give me just a second here. Um, I've used this, and I've only used it on a few Reborns, so I can't say too much other than the ones, the one that I still have here in my collection has not become sticky. However, um, I haven't used too many binkies on this baby because he's been pretty much stored, so I can't say about, you know, length of time and, and use. So I don't know if it was the original gloss that comes with Bountiful Baby that I know that they discontinued or if it's a type of glue. So if you guys know, please help. I need an advice of what I could do to either paint over this to what and if so, what should I use? Because it's getting, again, I cannot stand that stickiness. And I feel like eventually if it continues, it could possibly mess with the paint and I don't want to risk that so if you can help me with that I would really appreciate it or if you know somebody who could help me with that you know again you know I, I felt like I was going to just reap you know clean it as best as possible and do a coat with what you know I just showed you but I'm afraid like over a length of time could it be what I have already used is that a possible and if that's the case, I don't want to add to the problem, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I definitely want to know what you guys think or if you know. Hang on one second. Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry. I had to pause you. My little puppy got his nail stuck in his cover, and he was yelping like crazy. I'm sure you guys heard it. Oh, my goodness. I felt so bad. He had, like, a little snag in his nail. And we just recently cut him too, but um, yeah, he was just yanking and carrying on. And of course they make it worse when they do that. You know, I probably should have took, hang on one second. I probably should have took the um, onesie underneath off because it's, 
you definitely can see it but that's okay let's see what we can do here poor guy it's not the first time he's done that and I, I generally keep his nails pretty short because he's very good with letting me cut them but um, definitely was a little hangnail there I saw so sorry about that guys it scared me half to death <laughs> I didn't mean to just I had to just hurry up and go because I didn't know what was going on so I couldn't tell you what, what I was doing so sorry about that okay so oh my goodness she's so precious guys I love this baby okay so I just paired it with these uh, cute little white and red bow socks I thought would be really cute oh yeah Love it, love it, love it. And they're just like satin red bows. They, they're they made to look like Mary Jane's shoes over white socks, I guess. I'm going to try to sit her up so I can put her little bow in. Of course, her little <laughs> under onesie is sticking out. I wish I would have changed that. But that's okay. See, that's okay. Alright, so... Of course, you can't see all of her. Give me one second. Let me get this in, and I will adjust her up. Oh, my goodness. There her is, pretty girl. There's that pretty girl. Let's show everybody how beautiful you are. Okay. So sorry. Let's move it up. So there she is. Yes, she is. I so love this baby girl. And she even has the most beautiful, realistic beauty mark. If you can, Oh, she's falling right here, if you can see. I don't know if you can see. Tomorrow, when the sun comes up, I will definitely take pictures. Hopefully, they look better than what you're seeing here. But she has her red, white, and cute. Because she's definitely that, guys. All the way down to her sockies. So there is my Kayla, and I even uh, got a little red pacifier, even though it's Mickey, I think it looks cute. And I'm so scared to put pacifiers on her with that, but yeah, please, if you guys know any suggestions to help me with her lips, because I don't want anything to happen to her paint. Oh my goodness, that would devastate me, I, I swear. Let me spray a little bit on her head to get her curls just bouncing in the back and I just use water and all I do is just finger the curls right up and they're like back to being just as curly as ever and that's all I have to do I really don't ever have to curl or I'm sorry brush her hair at all I just spray and finger it and every once in a while though I use the conditioner because I don't want her hair to dry out and I heard water eventually will dry it out if that's all you're using so every once in a while you do want to use a type of a conditioner. Now, I just conditioned her last week, I believe. Yeah, because I was snuggle on her, and, and I noticed the back of her head was a little, little dry looking where she was laying on it. But, yep, yeah, that's all you do. And sometimes I, like, go ahead and, you know, like, pull apart some of the curls here so she has more. Oh, goodness, there she is, so beautiful. So there she is. I wish you could see how gorgeous her eyes are, but hopefully I get some pictures tomorrow so you can see that. Um, and she does have her beautiful blue, navy blue earrings and that I, I actually pierced her ears last year. And I got to tell you, she was the hardest reborn to pierce ears because if you know anything about the Saskia kit, one ear lays right up against her head and the other one sticks out and I swear one's bigger than the other I swear this ear is bigger <laughs> so she was the most difficult reborn to date to pierce and I gotta be honest I have been really wanting to pierce my Maisie which is my Abigail if you guys know but since I pierced her and the uh, what I went through, I should say, piercing her, I am so scared to do Abigail. It's unreal, but um, yeah, I, I so want to. I even went and bought her some really cute star crystal earrings that I think are going to be absolutely darling. So wish me some guts to do that. And um, like I said, if you have 
any advice about the USPS mess that I've got going on and also um, what you think I should do about her scrumptious little lips that are just sticky please comment below I would really appreciate it but for now I am gonna let you go I'm hoping to bring another baby on before I go to bed and um, as long, oh, she's gonna fall <laughs> as long as I'm up I want to change as many as I can so until the next video say Mwah! see you later